Good afternoon, guys. So, uh, this fly here is the Fat Albert. It's technically a beetle pattern. This is a great fly. Uh, you can fish this during, uh, you know, stonefly season. Uh, it works great as a stonefly. Works great as a hopper. Completely foam body, so floats great. Good visibility. You can drop drop flies off of it. Uh, so it's a good go-to pattern. Something a little bit different. Um, something that I fish from time to time in the uh, spring through fall months. All right, so we're gonna get started here. I take some uh, eight dot thread. You can change this up, but uh, eight dot thread. Start at the front of the hook. Work your way right to just behind the uh, point of the hook towards the back. Fly is relatively simple to tie. It's not super over complicated. And like I said, uh, you could change up thread colors, body colors, kind of for what, whatever you want to do. So, uh, first piece of foam is roughly about one and a half times the size of the hook gap. We're not going to put any taper on this or anything. We're just going to come come back up, make sure this hook's all covered well here. <clears throat> We're going to tie this first piece in about a third of the way back between the eye of the hook and the point of the hook. So take a couple of loose wraps until you kind of get it, get it secured in good. And this is this piece is going to be covered up until you get back to your kind of your original t tie off point where you stopped with the thread, kind of just did the uh, point of the hook there as a reference you don't have to get just kind of get this secured in good <clears throat> you could use a heavier thread if you want it it's a little bit faster you know if you're trying to cover everything up but ADOT I kind of prefer it for this myself so next piece of foam I'm going to tie in is going to be a lighter color light tan same thing, we're gonna start right at the same spot here, tie in our second piece of foam here. This one we wanna make sure that we get covered up really thoroughly because we're gonna pull this piece back forward and segment it, segment it and when you look at it from the underside the you don't want to see the pieces of foam you tied in so take the time just to cover it thoroughly So we're going to lay this piece back forward over the top of the hook towards the eye. Let's start our first segment here. We want to try to get three or four out of it. Bring your thread under the foam when you start your next segment here. Kind of leave this piece for now. We're going to take our other piece. I'm going to pull it forward here. I'm going to tie it, tie it in the same spot here. You can take and cut these off so they're out of the way. So. <clears throat> Next thing we're gonna do is get some uh, poly wing. You can use whatever color you want. I'm gonna I'm gonna use white. 
but you can change the color up you can make it bright if you have trouble seeing white so fold it over I'll take and cut this just just a little bit past the end of the foam here <clears throat> Tie in one one rubber leg that I've knotted. It's two 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 segments of fine, but they're knotted, and then split. So one on each side. This thing's got a lot of legs, so it's pretty buggy. You want to try to orient your legs so they're pointing the right direction. You want to kind of look look down from the top, make sure they're equal distance on, on both sides. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of that foam that we cut off and put it right here over the top of everything. Secure it in good here. We're just going to lift up the foam, jump to the front of the hook. <clears throat> cut this off so last thing we're going to do is take two more single rubber legs so you're going to end up with a total of uh, four legs on each side So last step after tying in your uh, your final two legs, whip finish underneath. It's kind of it's tricky to get this one because it's pretty stiff foam, uh, but you can get it. You just got to kind of work the foam back and get up under there. Pull all these legs back at the same time here. Where you kind of get crazy and pull the knot tight just kind of check to make sure you didn't capture any of your legs so cut off kind of work your legs get them all into all into where they need to be well, I'll just kind of go along the fly here and both sides Try to get them as even as possible here. And I'll come in and cut my corners here. There you have it. Bad Albert.